Hi guys, good evening all of you. Today we will solve a problem from quantum chemistry that comes in CSR net in June 2012 and we also discuss about the concept behind the solution. Basically in CSR a heavy weightage of marks is asked from quantum chemistry. So it is very crucial from selection point of view to cover this topic quantum chemistry. So in order to solve the problem you have to know about the basics of quantum. In CSR syllabus you can see uh, most of the syllabus covers from quantum chemistry covers only the basics of quantum chemistry because quantum chemistry itself is a very complicated topic very complicated <coughs> subject and it also includes very complicated calculation so they limited their syllabus in the basics of quantum chemistry so not going further we just go for the solution on this problem so a particle in three dimensional cubic box of length l has a energy of this the degeneracy of the state is in this problem 3d box particle in a 3d box the energy is given we are fine to we are supposed to find the degeneracy of this energy state in order to find out degeneracy of an energy state we have to know some point here degeneracy of a energy state of a energy state of a particle in 2d and 3d box it is given by the it is given by the g equal to the number of permutations of number of permutations of quantum numbers so that is this is the permute so from permutation two thing for permutation or two thing we have to know permutation number of permutation for n things uh, at a time if we take at a time if we take r things the number of permutations number of permutations will be n p r that is factorial n divided by factorial n minus r again if there are n things and p u 1 are alike of one type and p 2 are alike of another type and so on the number of permutations will be factorial n divided by factorial p1 p2 and so on these two things are very important in order to find out the degeneracy of the energy state so if we consider suppose we consider for a 2d system suppose we consider 2d system 
suppose one and two and corresponding energy will be h square divided by 8 m a square 1 square plus 2 square is equal to 5 h square your degeneracy will be NPR. So here n will be 2 since number of quantum numbers is 2 and we have to take 2 at a time. So, so it will be factorial 2 equal to 2. For 3D system, suppose we have a quantum number of energy studies 1, 1 and 1. Then corresponding energy will be 3 h square divided by 8 m a square and degeneracy in this case will be n p r n equal to number of quantum number 3 quantum numbers are there and How many we are taking at a time? Since there are three are alike, all the quantum numbers are same. Therefore, R will be somewhat um, R will be what? Zero. So it will be three. No, 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 no. This is sorry, sorry, sorry. We have to use this corollary since there are n number of uh, three quantum numbers and all the number of three quantum numbers are alike. Therefore, uh, g will be factorial three divided by factorial. 3 here p1 equal to 3 here n equal to 3 and p1 equal to 3 therefore it is equal to 1 so if we take this problem energy is given 14 h square 8 ml square right so possible value of the quantum numbers will be h square divided by ml square will be 1 square 2 square and 3 square that is n x and n these are the quantum numbers Therefore, corresponding degeneracy will be n p r number of quantum number equal to 3 <coughs> and we are taking 3 at a time therefore it will be 3 factorial 3 3 minus 3 equal to so we have to factorial 0 equal to 1 this is equal to 6. Therefore, correct answer will be C. So, this is the concept of degeneracy of energy state for particle in box. If you like the video, please like it, share it with your friends 
एंड प्लीज सब्सक्राइब दिस चैनल फॉर द मोर वीडियो एंड प्लीज द बेल आइकन थैंक यू